Felixstowe, the UK's biggest and busiest port, is on day four of an eight-day strike, the first such industrial action in more than 30 years. The United Union say port authorities are prioritising profits over fair pay. Port workers have been offered a 7% pay rise with an extra one-off payment of $600, but they knocked it back. The workers at the Port of Felixstowe have said to us that they would like a 10% pay rise. That is what we submitted to the company and that is what we've been negotiating around. We feel that we can negotiate around that figure if the company has a willingness to do so. Unfortunately, the company are not meeting with us, so we can't progress the negotiations. The purpose of the strike is to, to get the fair pay rise that we deserve. Um, we work for a big company. They make lots of profit on the back of our hard work. We've only asked for what we're entitled to as far as we're, we're, we're concerned. This summer has seen several strikes across the UK, including rail, airports and airline workers. People have been struggling to make ends meet with inflation rising in a manner not seen in Western economies in 40 years. But politicians and employers around the world are struggling with the risk of fueling this inflation with widespread pay rises. This strike is costing them a lot of money. They're going to be, they are the biggest losers in this, really. This strike is actually costing them the equivalent of 2% of their annual wages, and, and it's money many of them can ill afford to lose. This port handles around 4 million containers annually from over 2,000 ships. This strike action will cause huge disruption and over $800 million in trade could be affected, sending huge shockwaves throughout the UK's already struggling supply chain. And if the deadlock continues further, strike action could be on the cards, causing further economic uncertainty. Lape Olarinoye, TRT World, Felixstowe.